a short data one. Very short. Part 203. Line 18N, exothermic chemical reactions, heat energy, nuclear fusion, 5G well study. There's the alien radio signal there. And this is exothermic reaction from Wikipedia. Is a chemical reaction that releases energy in the form of light or heat. It is the opposite of an endothermic reaction expressed in a chemical equation of reactants to products plus energy. An overview, an exothermic reaction is a chemical reaction that is accompanied by the release of heat. In other words, the energy needed for the reaction to occur is less than the total energy released. As a result of this, the extra energy is released usually in the form of heat. When using a calorimeter, the change in heat of the calorimeter is equal to the opposite of the change in heat of the system. This means that when the medium in which the reaction is taking place gains heat, the reaction is exothermic. The absolute amounts of energy in a chemical system is extremely difficult to measure or calculate. The Enlafe change H of a chemical reaction is much easier to measure and calculate. A bomb calorimeter is very suitable for measuring the energy change, AH, of a combustion reaction. Measured and calculated H values are related to the bond energies by H energy used in bomb breaking reactions, energy released in bond making products. So here's a graph here showing you how that works. So an energy profile of an exothermic reaction, by definition the enthalpy change has a negative value of H is greater than or less than zero. And an exothermic reaction gives a negative value of H since a larger value, the energy released in the reaction, is subtracted from a smaller value, the energy used for the reaction. For example, when hydrogen burns, this is what the reaction is. Okay, nice little pellets there. These are nuclear fuel pellets and they're used to create nuclear energy. They're so tiny, but they're very powerful. In stars that undergo nuclear fusion, fuel consists of atomic nuclei that can release energy by the absorption of a proton or neutron. In most stars, the fuel is provided by hydrogen, which can combine together to form helium through the proton-proton chain reaction or by the CNO cycle. When the hydrogen fuel is exhausted, nuclear fusion can continue with progressively heavier elements, although the net energy released is lower because of the smaller difference in nuclear binding energy. Once iron minus 56 or nickel minus 56 nuclear are produced, no further energy can be obtained by nuclear fusion as these have the highest nuclear binding energies. I told you it would be a short video. We'll go on to our next one.